Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program which will detect that how many human faces are there in a frame. Now let me quickly show you that what I mean. So let me open PowerShell window here and write python one dot py. This is the file name. And here you can see this is me. Hi. And this is me again. And here you can see human face one, human face two. So this is the project that we'll be creating in this video. So let me close this. Okay. So yeah, this is the project that we'll be creating in this video. So before starting up with the setup process, that what are the system requirement, uh, I have two announcements for you. Now the first announcement is the giveaway winners. Now on I guess 28th of December, I uploaded a video promising five free courses on reinforcement learning. Many people participated and sent me their modified projects in which I have selected two for now. I have promised five, but I have selected two for now. I am still going through all those projects and selecting the best of them. So our first winner is, uh, let me check. Our first winner is Mayank. Okay, so Mayank Rathi. Uh, he has sent me a modified version of Notepad that we have created in our channel. Okay, so great Mayank. And he has also replied me. Okay. And our second winner is Chandrasekhar who has sent me a modified version of the salary prediction. Now, I sent Chandan, uh, sorry, Chandrasekhar the link to login, but I guess he's not active on mail. So, pretty bad for him because the Validity of link is only for five days. It's not me. Edinox have selected the validation link. Okay, so pretty bad for him. Okay, but no problem. We'll be organizing regular giveaway on our channel now. So stay connected for further giveaways. Now let's move on to our next announcement. And our next announcement is our channel merch. Now, for a long time, I was thinking that how can I create merchandises for all our viewers? Like people from outside, they can buy from our Teespring stores. Teespring provide their shop listing just below my videos. So people from outside US can buy our products very easily. But for India, they were pretty expensive. So I searched a lot for really cheap merchandises for our Indian viewers. So here is the frankly where store of I know Python. Now there are limited uh, products. You can buy a cotton t-shirt, you can buy A3 posters, hoodie, uh, sweatshirts, crop top and mugs. Okay, so they are really affordable. Here you can see uh, mugs are 300 rupees, cotton t-shirts are, are worth uh, 500 rupees and same for the hoodies. So these are pretty reasonable rate product so yeah i'll provide the link below so you can buy them if you want totally up to you now let's move on to the project so the system requirement for this project is pretty big now actually the reason for this is the library that we are using dlib this is a c binary right so we need to install two software so that we can run c binary on the python platform so you have to install two software now i'll provide a link to this blog which is a blog on medium it's a very detailed blog of how you can install dlib on your python system on windows 10 now this is a very heavy installation because you need to install CMake and you need to install Visual Studio. So approximately 2 GB of data you have to push to download these two applications. Okay, so you can pause this video and just download these two applications and set up everything. I'll provide the link for this medium post in the description. You can go through this post. Okay, now after everything done, now let's get back to our editor so that we can actually write our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So let's import our required libraries first. Okay, so now in the rush, I forgot that you have to install these two libraries also. So quickly jump to your uh, CMD and just write pip install 
numpy to install numpy uh, now for me this is already installed so it will show a uh, satisfied okay and then we'll install opencv python so we'll simply write uh, pip install opencv python press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed so uh, yeah let's continue with our code okay so let's create a video variable which will basically capture the video from our webcam so we'll write cv2 dot video capture okay so we are writing the zero here because we are uh, taking the input from the zero channel which is our webcam okay so let's call our get frontal face detector class from dlib this will actually detect the frontal face from our webcam okay so we have created the detector object uh, then let's create a while true infinite loop so that the frame is running constantly and the uh, pictures that are captured from our webcam is converted into videos because we know that video is the slideshow of images right then let's extract the video that is present in our video variable okay so now let's flip our frames okay so now let's convert our input from the webcam which is colored input into grayscale now i have explained multiple time in our previous video of opencv that why we convert our colored image into grayscale image to increase the precision of the object detection and to decrease the time and processing power of the program right okay so let's convert our image into grayscale okay so now we have converted using this cvt color class of opencv now this cvt class of opencv accepts two parameter first is the frame that is the input uh, from the webcam and the second is cv2 this should be a dot here so cv2 dot color bgr is blue green red to gray okay okay so let's create this faces variable now let me first write then i'll explain you okay so now we have created this this faces variable which will use this detector object of this dlib get frontal face class and we are applying this uh, object to this gray image okay this class is applied to the gray image that is getting from the webcam okay so the output of this faces will be four values the starting x the starting y and the height and width now let me uh, explain you more clearly that what i mean so let me open paint here so let's say that where is the pointer okay so let's say that this is the human face now i know this is the horrible human face so uh, let's say that the uh, the frontal face detector of dlib recognizes that this is the face okay so the four parameters that it will uh, provide is the starting x the starting y the point here and the height of the face this and the width of the face okay so these are the four parameters that this uh, get frontal face class will provide and this faces variable will store okay so what we'll do is let's create a num variable which will be initially zero because it will store uh, how many number of faces are there it will be incremented with one after each face detected okay then we'll create a for loop which will iterate to this faces variable okay so for faces sorry uh, for face in faces uh, for face in faces x comma y is equal to uh, face dot left which is the x-axis and then face dot right which is the y-axis okay actually i guess right is the width yeah 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 right is the width so uh, the uh, y-axis is top and it is a function so uh, yeah okay then we'll be doing the same for our height and width so uh, for height let's create a small variable height and for width let's create y okay so it is face dot uh, right and face dot bottom okay it should be bottom here bottom 
okay so now we'll use the cv2 dot rectangle method which will draw the rectangle around our face okay okay so now this rectangle uh, method accepts these parameter first is the frame the picture on which the rectangle will be drawn then the x-axis and y-axis then the height and width and then the color of the frame which is blue here and then the width of the pen that will be drawn to uh, which will be selected to draw the rectangle okay then we'll increment our i with one okay so i plus one then we'll use the cv2 dot put text to put the text the number of faces that we have seen uh, when i was showing you the project the number one and the face number one the face number two we'll be using the cv2 dot put text method for that okay so we have used this cv2 dot put text uh, method and it accepts the following parameter first is the frame the image on which the face will be written and then this face this is a string that will be written on our face uh, on the face so face then this number then this is the position x minus 12 and y minus 12 so that it is just above our face okay just above the uh, the triangle okay then this is the font that we have selected cv2 dot font hershey simple okay and this is the size of the font and this is the color okay so all the face detection part is done what is left is showing user the image okay so just in the indent line of this for loop we will write cv2 dot i am show uh no it's not all caps cv2 dot i am show and it accepts two parameter first the name that will be written so let's say faces okay and then the frame and then let's write the condition for quitting the window okay so now let's release our video and destroy all windows okay okay so let's run our program and let me hold my photo so that we can see whether it's working or not okay so let me save this and let me run our program okay so yeah we are getting an error no doubt we are getting an error uh, most probably a typo mistake uh, okay so i is not defined where the hell is i okay so the variable name is num sorry for that uh, it should be num let's save this and let's run our program again and okay so uh, so yeah the same mistake actually uh, while creating the project i have used the uh, name i so this is why i guess this is happening okay so uh, now i guess there is no i here let's run this again okay so the name of the font is wrong it should be simplex it's not simple it should be simplex okay okay so yeah okay so uh, wait key because this w is capital now uh, if you're following my open cv playlist then you must be familiar with my this mistake okay uh, i make this mistake a lot it should be capital uh, not this actually uh the key should be capital the key should be capital here okay now i don't edit my mistakes because this is the part of the debugging process so i usually don't edit this part okay so yeah this is the phase one and let me open my mobile okay so yeah okay so phase two phase two phase two phase one okay so yeah it's working it's working it's working let me check the quit process so uh, yeah the quit is not working strange so um, the quit is not working i don't know why okay so just a second i have to close this from the taskbar i guess now <laughs> uh yeah i have to close this from the taskbar okay 
so uh why isn't it running let me check okay so let's open this again okay so i don't know why it's not not working it used to work before so let me try the method that i'm used to so let's create a key variable and then use the key variable here let's save this and let me run my program again and let's try to quit now okay so now it's working so i don't know what the problem was okay so yeah this was a short video in which i've shown you that how you can get that how many faces are there in a frame okay so this is it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome okay so meet you there bye bye